Hello guys, welcome back to Watch Addiction Watch Reviews. Today we're taking a look at a super affordable watch from the micro brand Pantor. Now here's the leatherette box it comes in. As you can see, nice little logo here. Inside you get your warranty. And inside of here is your watch secured with that holster here. So uh, pretty simple packaging, very useful. And uh, let's get into the actual watch now. So here is the Pantor. Now this watch is $199 on Amazon where I bought this from. And you know most of the Pantor watches are like $400 or so. And it's kind of weird. I found this for $199. It's a brand new model they released. The name is the Pantor Nautilus. Now let's go over some basic specifications on this exact model right here. So we are looking at a bigger case diameter of 45 millimeters but it doesn't wear like a 45 millimeter watch. We have that turtle case shape, as you can see, very round case shape. And the case is comprised of complete 316L brushed and polished uh, stainless steel. So it's pretty sturdy, it's tough. Now in terms of case thickness, we are looking at 12.6 millimeters. That's including the sapphire crystal and the bezel, of course. So not all that thick. Definitely very wearable for the modern man. Now, in terms of the actual lug width, we are looking at 24 millimeters. So 24, you know, for a 45 millimeter case, that's pretty standard. Uh, I think they got that right and everything kind of keeps in tune with each other there. So, inside of this watch is the Seiko NH35 movement, which most of you guys probably know about already. It's used in almost every single micro brand uh, around this price point, I would say. You know, handing, uh, hand winding, hackable. Um, 24 joules, 40 hour power reserve, it's accurate within around 5 or 10 seconds plus a day. Uh, you get a nice smooth sweep at 3 hertz or 21,600 beats per hour. So it's definitely, you know, it's a decent movement, it's a workhorse movement. It's one that will last you many years and it won't fail you. So it's good to see a nice reliable movement, especially an automatic movement with all these specifications at this price point. We even get a sapphire crystal. We get a Swiss C3 Super Luminova. Uh, the dial, let's get a little closer. So these are not applied markers. These are just kind of on there. I guess they're painted or I'm not sure. But uh, these are all filled with a generous amount of Superluminova and the loom is really good. Something uh, a little weird is kind of the date window stuck in between the 4 and the 5 position right here with a white background as you can see there. And uh, yeah, that's just something kind of stood out to me. I'm usually used to seeing the date over at the 3 o'clock position. But uh, I think, you know, it, it can work. It can work. Now, Pantor is printed below 12. And then we do get the water resistance, which is 200 meters on this model, and automatic printed in white. Uh, we get these, I would say, very legible hands against this black matte dial here. We get a little pip on the sweeping seconds hand, which is loomed. Also, you know, the hands, of course, are loomed. Uh, which we do need. And the little pip over here on the rotating bezel is loomed. If you can see right now, the bezel is aligned perfectly to the 12 o'clock position, so no alignment issues whatsoever. Now the main difference between this bezel and the other one, on the other, the other Pantor diver I reviewed a while back, uh, this has a different style bezel. As you can see, we get 5 through 55. The first 15, you have increments in between right here. And the action on the bezel is fairly good, and you get a good grip. As you can see, just like the Fivos I reviewed yesterday, there's a nice level of grip on this watch right here. So when I go to rotate it, you can definitely rotate it fairly good, and there's no back play. So it's good to see some decent bezel action on this uh, affordable dive watch. Let me line it back up to the 12 o'clock position. And there we go. Okay, now in terms of the finishing on this actual case. So we get a nice highly polished side over here. Brushed tops, as you can see. This is all brushed. And then this is polished. The other side the same. It's uh, highly polished. We get a signed crown with the Pantor logo. Let me get you in a little closer here. You can see it's done pretty neat. I think that looks pretty good. So anyway. Uh, if you don't know how to function this movement right here, uh, I'll show you right now. We have a screw down crown, obviously. The crown is fairly easy to uh, unscrew and it has a really nice and solid pop out, which I do enjoy. So first position, we get self winding. Second position, we can flip through the date here. 
And then your final position is your hacking position, and we can set the time here. So pretty easy, no, fairly easy to function here as any other uh, Seiko NH35 movement. Let's head over to the case back. So here's the case back, and I kind of really like what they did with uh, this brushed, screwed down case back. You have this kind of shell here, which is brushed, and then you have a matte finish behind it. Pantor, stainless steel, sapphire crystal, 200 meters, Nautilus, the name of this model. Now getting to the strap, uh, we have a Panerai style strap here, the kind of the same strap you'd see on a submersible Panerai. I did notice that, so it's 24 millimeters. I believe it tapers down to 22. And it's uh, silicone, I'm pretty sure. Now one thing I did notice is this buckle. So we get a brush buckle which is signed with the logo. Two safety keepers here. The buckle is rather large and that's, uh, that's probably one thing I would do without. I'd probably slim the buckle down a little bit. It is kind of large there. And um, it kind of fits weird on the wrist. But obviously you can change this out to a variety of different straps. Um, you know, but you know, this strap looks good. It fits the wash, the matte black dial. Every, it's very flexible, comfortable. It's not too bad quality, but I would just make the buckle a little smaller. But uh, on with the rest, let's uh, get you guys a loom shot. The loom is extraordinary on this watch, and I want to show you. So here we can get a glimpse of the loom. As you can see, it's really bright. Uh, it glows that bright green color. Everything is really, really bright, and it does last a long time. I would put this on something with par, almost as good as Seiko's Loomer Bright. Um, it's pretty good loom. So here's the watch on my 6.5 inch wrist. Now this is a 45 millimeter case, so you might think, well, it kind of wears big, right? Well, it really doesn't. It kind of fits perfectly on my wrist, just like the Seiko Turtle SRP777 with its bigger case diameter. But, you know, it definitely fits due to that circular turtle shape case we have here. And all around, it wears pretty close to the wrist. Uh, like I said, the one thing I just didn't like was the buckle. Uh, if they could just slender this down a little bit. I know they were going for the whole Panerai strap and Panerai buckle style, but I don't really think that fits this type of watch. But um, you can always switch out the straps or probably even the buckle if you really wanted to. Uh, this would always look good on a standard, you know, Barton's band or something like that. But, uh, you know, for $200, I really can't complain. That's probably the only thing I would change. Everything else is pretty positive for $200. We get a sapphire crystal, great loom, a very nice bezel, screw down crown, 200 meters of water resistance. The finishing is pretty good on this watch as well. And yeah, you get all the goodies for, you know, $200, um, which is a great price. I will leave a link to the Amazon place where I bought this in the description below if you want to check it out. These will probably sell out pretty quick as most of the other Pantores, honestly, with the same specifications, are a lot more expensive. So uh, they're releasing this affordable version, but it has the same good qualities of the original one. Hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you think in the comment section below as usual. And I hope you can... Uh, and subscribe, tell your friends, let someone know about Watch Addiction Watch Reviews. Also check out WatchAddictChannel.com for full written reviews. Hope to see you guys soon. Bye.